Hey everyone, so I went to a wedding this weekend and before that I was trying to figure out how I was going to do my makeup. My dress was brown, the color espresso, and it was a long bridesmaid dress. And I didn't want to just do something brown or gold, which would be a little bit too typical, I think. I went to go see the movie, what is it, Friends with Benefits? I think that's what it's called, the one with Mila Kunis and Justin Timberlake. And I loved her makeup in it. I couldn't stop staring at it. I decided to come home and try out her look. And it ended up coming out to be my bridesmaid look. I don't know if my look actually looks like Mila Kunis because I really don't remember now. It's been like about a week since I watched the movie. But I really like the look. So I decided to do it for the wedding. And this is what it looks like. Let me shade it out so maybe you can see it better. So yeah. This is what it looks like. Um, I don't think you have to be a bridesmaid to wear this makeup. You can wear it to anything you want to. I know I used a lot of eyeshadows, but you can use whatever you have. I used the stuff that I already had. If you have the Naked palette, this is going to be perfect for you because most of the colors I used are from there. Oh my god, I almost wanted to tell you that you should stay tuned for the end of the video where I will include pictures of the actual wedding day where you can see how I looked as a bridesmaid. Okay, so I hope you enjoy this video and if you're interested, keep watching. Okay, so I already applied my foundation. I used my Revlon Color Stay, the ones that I used for the Red Lips makeup tutorial, and I applied it all over my face with my fingers, and I blended it out with my Sigma F80 Kabuki, Flat Top Kabuki, and it looks like this. I also filled in my eyebrows. I would show you how I did it, but it's actually not my idea. I got the idea from Dulce Candy. I'll probably post her link in the bottom so you can check out how she does her eyebrows and how I did my eyebrows today. So as you can see, I already did this eye and I already primed this other eyelid, so let's go ahead and get started with the eyes. The first color I'm gonna take is this NYX in the color Root Beer. It looks like this. Um, it's kind of like a taupey brown color. It actually looks a little bit purple too, but um, the reason why I got it was because it was supposed to be kind of like a MAC dupe for satin taupe, but I don't know how satin taupe, satin taupe looks, and I don't know if it's actually a dupe, but I'm just going to be applying this all over my eyelid. Just like that. Don't go above the crease. Just stay on the eyelid, and then um, afterwards, I'm going to take my Naked palette, and I'm taking this color right here, which is um, Good Metal, which is a dark gray color. And I'm just taking the other side of the brush and then I'm applying it to the outer two thirds of my eyelid. And I'm leaving the inner third just how it was with the root beer only. And then after that, you just kind of take the other side of the brush with the root beer to kind of blend it all out. So that's it. Um, the next color I'm going to use is my Lorac eyeshadow in the color Suede. And this is a medium brown color with a reddish undertone. And I'm taking this dome brush right here. Looks like this. Just tapping it in here. And I'm going to use this on my crease. Just like this. Oh my god, I'm going to have to put that hair up. When I apply my eyeshadow, I like to do it just a little bit at a time because you never know how much it's going to sh show up on your actual eyelid. And if you do it too much, then it's going to be ugly and you're going to have to take it all off. So just build it up. Just like that. Um, after this, I'm going to take another eyeshadow palette. And I'm going to be using this LA Colors eyeshadow palette. I don't know what the name is because it's completely wiped off. I'm taking this orangey color. It looks kind of like like maroon. No, maroon's red, right? I don't know. It's like this red-orange color right here. And I'm taking the same brush that I used on the crease just a little while ago. Take just a tiny little bit of it. If you want to, you can even tap it off on your hand just to make sure you don't have too much. And I'm applying this above the suede color just to add a little bit of color. So I don't want it to look too brown. So just like that. And then afterwards, I'm going to take my flat 
angled brush and I'm going to use this one to do my inner V and my inner bottom lash line. I am taking the color Sin from the Naked palette. It's this one right here and it's this very metallic light pink color. Just taking a little bit of that and I'm applying it to my inner V just like this. And apply it under my eye about maybe halfway on the, under the bottom lash line. Now I'm taking the same color, Sin, and I'm taking just this clean brush. It's the Elf Professional eyeshadow brush. You can take any brush that you want to. And I'm taking the same color, and I'm actually going to place this right here in the middle of my eyelid. Up to the crease. Um, you might be wondering why I do this, but this is because that I have really small eyes and I think this color kind of makes my eyes a little bit brighter, makes them pop out a little bit more. And then I'm taking my angled brush again, now that I'm done with it, and I'm taking the color Dark Horse, which is this one right here. It's a very dark brown color. And I'm going to use this on my outer bee. Then I'm taking this color right here, the color Hustle, which is like a dark brownish purple. And I'm taking this one and I'm putting it with the same brush. And I'm using this on my lower lash line and I'm bringing it into the middle. I like to feather it out like and creating a wing. For my highlight color, I'm going to take this uh, the same e.l.f. brush that I used right here for this light color in the middle of my eyelid. And I'm taking the color Virgin, which is just, um, it's a kind of creamy, really light, frosty color. And I'm using this as my highlight. You know, now I'm going to line my tight line on the top and the bottom. And I am going to use my Urban Decay 24-7 Light on Eye Pencil in the color Zero. And I'm using these because I got it in the Naked Palette. With the Naked palette, um, just line my upper and lower tight line. And I almost forgot, I'm taking the other side, which is in the color Whiskey, and it's this brown color with a little bit of glittery stuff in it, and I'm going to use it to line my upper lash line. Okay, so you can leave it like that, or... If you're like me, on the day of the wedding, I was kind of clumsy and I kind of was messing up everything. So I just took one of my my smudge brush, and it's, this is one of the e.l.f. ones. You can just smudge out the line if you make any mistakes. Now I'm just going to apply my favorite mascara, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I used my L'Oreal Voluminous. This is my favorite mascara as of right now, and I just used this as... I just use this on my top and bottom line, as you can see, hopefully. The first time I did this look, I actually applied my fake eyelashes, and I loved the way it looked, but the day of the wedding, I was too clumsy, and I tried to do it, and it didn't really look right, so I ended up just taking them off. But the ones that I would have used are, I believe these are from Ardell, and they're the natural ones. This is 110 in black, and this is what they look like. But yeah, so those are the ones that I would have used. I'm not going to put them on because I don't really know how to put on fake eyelashes that well. And I didn't wear them at the actual wedding. So I think you can do without them as well. I almost forgot to tell you. Um, I have a little bit of fallout right here. So I'm just taking this weird brush, just some regular powder, and going underneath where you have all that fallout. And you just kind of brush it away. Now for my cheeks, I'm going to use this same brush that I just put on. That I just use. Oops. The same brush, this Lil Cornell 275 3 fourths. And I'm taking my NYC Sunny Bronzer. Looks like this. And I'm using these to contour. Make your fish face. After you contour your cheeks, I like to make the little three. Just make the little three up to your up your temples, above your eyebrow. And then you drag it back down under your chin. A 
like that. Okay, so now we're really done with bronzer. Yeah, we are. So now I'm taking this Clinique Uplighting Liquid Illuminator and I use this to highlight my cheek. What I like to do is I put it on the back of my hand like this and then I spread it out with my finger. And then I take my foundation brush and I use like the very edge of it just tap it a little bit and then I tap it on to my face right above my cheekbone tap it and then I blend same thing for the other side so on the wedding day I used my NARS blush in the color Sin and it looks like this and it's kind of like a mauve color. It looks a little bit purple. But I really liked it because I didn't want to use a pink or like a peach. I thought this color would be a little bit more flattering on my skin tone and with what I was wearing. And I'm taking this blush brush. It's an angled blush brush that I got from Walmart. Just tap, tap, tap. And I put this right on top of where I put my blush my blush my bronzer I don't like to put my blush on my, the apples of my cheeks because I already look young I don't want to look even younger and then I just kind of blend it out now what's left yes my favorite part the lips and on this day I wanted to use a color that would last a little bit longer because I didn't want to be putting on lip gloss and worrying about having crusty lips or anything like that during the wedding. I used my Maybelline Super Stay Gloss in the color 660. So yeah, I'm putting this on my lips. Okay, so now I think they're dry and I'm gonna put on my clear coat. I'm gonna blend it out with my fingers because it's a little bit thick. And some of it actually came off. I guess that's not very good, but some of it did come off on my fingers. Well, anyways, this is the finished look. I hope you like it, and I hope you use it when you're a bridesmaid or in any other special occasion. I'll see you next time. Bye.